In chemistry class, two friends secretly mixed some chemicals and poured them into an alcohol lamp. Suddenly, a huge fire flared up. The teacher rushed over and quickly dumped the fuel into a tub of water. Luckily, nothing major happened, but it was now clear that the fuel they had made was almost like rocket fuel. The two friends went to a mining area for their first test. The rocket shot halfway into the sky, but veered off course and nearly crashed into people. Fortunately, a scientist was present there. He explained to them that regular steel couldn't withstand such extreme heat. They needed very strong and expensive steel, but they didn't have that kind of money. That's that's when they thought of pulling out old railway tracks and selling them. Suddenly, the sound of a train whistle scared everyone, but luckily it was just a false alarm. They sold the tracks, bought high-temperature steel rods, and with the help of an uncle, processed them. Yet the rocket launches kept failing. Sometimes it wouldn't fly at all, other times it would explode mid-air. After selling more than 20 tracks, Sam grew suspicious. He realized the real problem was the purity of the fuel. Whenever the temperature got too high, the rocket would swell and blast. So they made a new booster fuel with 100% pure alcohol. On launch day, a big crowd gathered just to mock them. Staying calm, Sam switched on the ignition. This time, the rocket soared straight into the sky. Even the mockers started clapping. The teacher praised them a lot. Within days, they got an invitation for a science competition. Sam excitedly told his father the good news. But his father said, if you want to make a name, play football. Otherwise, work with me in the mine. Sam hated the life of mining. He built another rocket and launched it successfully. Soon, newspapers started writing about their team. People who once mocked him now asked for his autograph. But trouble struck one day. A forest fire broke out where their rocket had fallen. The police arrested them and threw them in lockup. Since they were minors, their parents bailed them out. Still, his father kept scolding him, afraid that another launch might cause an even bigger fire. Their team started breaking apart. During this time, one stormy night, heavy rain poured down. Sam's father was working in the mine and got badly injured while saving the lives of workers. Seeing this, Sam was forced to start working in the mine so he could support his brother's education and help his father. He worked in the dark, dusty mine but kept glancing up at the sky. In just two months, he became a full-time miner. His father's condition slowly improved. Then Sam's mother told him that his teacher had cancer. Sam went to meet him. The teacher gave him courage and said, don't give up on your dreams. After that, Sam took out his old rocket book. From it, he created a formula to calculate where a rocket would land. He went to the forest and found his old rocket. At school, he presented evidence proving that the fire had actually started because of a flare gun, not his rocket. They were declared innocent and allowed back into the competition. Sam firmly told his father, the mine is your life, not mine. Their rocket topped the local level and advanced to the national competition. But there, someone stole their sample. His father and the mine workers worked all night to prepare a new sample. With full confidence, Sam gave his presentation and won first prize. The villagers welcomed them with great celebration. Finally, Sam wanted his father to see a rocket launch with his own eyes. His father pressed the button and experienced the dream that he had never understood before.